Hey there. Well, earlier today, my mother, brother, and I all had a a long talk. We all live under the same roof. We're at, we're at my mother's house. It's a big house, and it works out best for all of us to be staying here. Particularly financially, it's very helpful. But I'm able to help out my mother, you know, in living here as much as I can. And my brother sometimes too. But uh, yeah, we had a long discussion about what happens if one of us gets the coronavirus? You know, would we be able to somehow stop from the rest of us getting it? I don't know. There are two kitchens and there's one and a half bathrooms. And my brother was saying that he could use that if, you know, if he ends up getting it, he could use the half bathroom and he would continue just using the old kitchen while my mom and I use the new kitchen. New kitchen, I, we call it new. It, we moved into this house in 1977 and had, uh, well, the room I'm in right now was one of the additions put on there in 1977. We had, you know, two large bedrooms added on. It was originally a pretty small house, two-story. And uh, then in 1981, I think it's 1981, that we had the... Is it 81 or 82? We had another addition put on the house for uh, for my grandfather. Because originally my grandmother and grandfather were here. My dad died when I was four of a brain tumor. Um, so after he died, uh, we moved to here and, uh, anyway, so my mom and I use the new kitchen. My brother uses the old kitchen. We'd continue that. We'd be making sure that we use sanitary wipes on door handles all the time and, uh, that sort of thing. Although, how, how long we'll be able to do that, I don't know, because you can't get a hold of those sanitary wipes anymore. They're all sold out. They've all been hoarded by people. Um, heck, bleach. You can't even find bleach at places now. Now, bleach I understand a lot more than people hoarding toilet paper. Because as I've said before, people can... You can wash your ass, right? But not having things like bleach, that's a, that's a major issue. You know, I can't, we can't find bleach anywhere. We can't even, we can't even find it online. Except the ultra scented stuff. And we're all, all of us at the household have allergies to, to strong artificial fragrances. We, we have a problem with the, even the, the sanitary wipes because they're fragranced, but it's not as bad as, you know, using really fragranced uh, other cleaning products. So, but yeah, I can't imagine that if one of us gets the coronavirus that the rest of us in the household wouldn't get it eventually too. I just don't know how that would work. My mom is 73, and she has sarcoid. It gives her symptoms that are similar to, uh, to asthma. And she, she uses an inhaler every morning to take care of some of those things. And so her lungs are compromised to some degree. And my brother's health isn't very, doing very well at all. So I imagine his immunity is... He is immunocompromised. So... I seem to be the one that would survive it the easiest. At least statistically, anyway. I'm also the youngest in the household. So...
I don't know. It's it's been uh, it's been very stressful. I, I'm glad that my brother now really understands the gravity of the situation, and he's doing. He's now doing very, very much doing social distancing. I said in another video that he didn't seem to quite grasp it very well, but he does now. And, uh, yeah, we're all very worried, just like most of the rest of the people here in the United States, most of the rest of the world, I should say, is pretty worried about this. You know, we try to cling to whatever we can to make us happy. You know, my, myself, uh, you know, the most recent thing, you know, consumerism, you know. I bought this hat online. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't too, too expensive. I think it looks all right. Maybe others don't. I don't know. But, you know, any little thing to try to make ourselves a little bit happier, right? But uh, and when I said everyone's worried, I mean, there, as I said in another video, you know, there's a number of people who don't seem worried, and it's very young people that don't seem worried. They want, they want their spring break, and they want to keep their partying mindset, not giving a shit if they... I mean, it, it's one thing for them to not care if they get the coronavirus, but... When they don't care that they're spreading it to others, that just sucks, you know? I don't know, we, I think about how insulated we've been here in the United States for so long about tragedies that happen in other countries. And we always think to ourselves, oh, well, at least that can't happen here. Well, now here we are in a pandemic. And I don't know, uh, we, we just try to hope for the best, try to grasp it, as I said, try to grasp at anything positive that we can. I'd really like to finish episode 73 of Kazoom's Mystery Commercial Theater. Um... But I've only got like 45 seconds, somewhere around there, of, of one. I usually, I usually like to wait till I have at least three minutes before I release one of them. It's been harder and harder as time goes on, because there's so many commercials I've already sort of made parodies of to some degree, or I've already taken what I can that's funny out of them. And so you're kind of stuck, oh, let's, let's, let's watch a whole bunch of commercials, old commercials and sometimes new ones, to try to find something funny. But it's so much of the stuff I've already done, and uh, yeah, it makes it much harder. But also just, it's hard to try to find funny things uh, when things suck so much, you know? It's been hard to get myself to work on music, finish songs that I've started, or create new songs. It's been hard. It's funny how as soon as the as soon as we get this push for social social distancing, I know for myself, it's it's kind of like when you're told that you can't eat certain foods anymore, that ends up being what you crave the most. So when I'm told that I need to do social distancing, it's when I crave being social the most. I've been wanting to, to go to uh, some bars. There's this... Oh, what is the name of the... Oh, well, I forgot the name of the place. It doesn't really matter. There's kind of a bear-oriented bar uh, in South Seattle, in an, an area that normally didn't have... Uh, gay bars it was i think it's the first one of its kind in the area and i was initially looking very forward to, to going there and socializing again but you know i can't because well it, we we needed practice social distancing um number of friends i've wanted to go to movies with 
number of friends I've wanted to hang out with. And it's like, nope, nope, do everything online. So that's the new reality we have for a while. And it's likely that we're going to be stuck with this reality for at least a year, probably a year and a half. I mean, that's how long it's going to take before we get any sort of reasonable vaccine that's available to everyone. I mean, we'll prob- a vaccine will probably be created well before then. But for it to be able to be distributed all over the, U- the U.S., yeah, it's probably going to take a year, year and a half. Now, there's that, what is it, hydroxychloroquine. Is that the name of it? It's something that's usually used to treat malaria. And there's another, something else it's used to treat. And uh, it's made people recover much, much quicker from the coronavirus. And there's also, there's an antibiotic that can be taken with it that really reduces the uh, recovery time. And also makes it so people's lungs aren't damaged for as long. So, we can hope that something will, if that really does help, we can hope that, like, Trump might try to do something so that can be, the FDA can fast track that for usage for, to use for the coronavirus. Um, But who knows? Um, no matter what, it's looking like it's going to be a long time before we're able to even have anything that slightly resembles normalcy again. Sometimes kind of hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So many people dying already. I know so many people online, well, a lot of it in Second Life, that have gotten the coronavirus. I know a number of people whose relatives have died from the coronavirus. One person, um, they got symptoms. As soon as they got the symptoms, within three days, they died. I was originally so hopeful with, with cases like Tom Hanks and his wife, who don't seem to have too many of the symptoms that that are so bad. Um, I don't know. But we've got to try to keep our chin up and uh, try to remain positive. Try to keep up hope. And again, you know, grasp at anything that can make us happy, even if it's just temporary and even if it's just consumerism, you know. Whatever we can do. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Thanks for watching.